Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan coming at you again with the Master Plan Salute. Alright, so we got a few updates on the um, Predator 212. And I'm going to show you guys a video clip here just shortly. But the things I want to say about this is YouTube is getting rid of the uh, video editor thingamajigger you all know I guess anybody who's fluent with YouTube and doing videos yeah they're getting rid of this whole thing but uh, I have many more videos I'm supposed to be doing on the upgrades so we'll get back to you on that shortly and I will be giving you guys a little ink link on the uh, Predator 212 stick around <laughs> Alright, so the Predator 212. This is the non Hemi, and as you can see, I got it the Makuni style carburetor. It's actually not the Makuni. I apologize for anybody in the last videos that where you heard me say, I got the Makuni. I actually meant to say Makuni style. That's why I was laughing so much. But this is just as good. This is the uh, 22 millimeter style. Makuni carburetor that I got off of hotrodminibikes.com Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing and like I said Non-hemi and I've already watched enough videos online to know exactly what all the torque specs for all the billet aluminum flywheel rod, this the uh, the the stage three kit that I'm getting, it actually comes with the 26 pounds, not the 18 pounds that you get from Go Power Sports. I'm getting the stage three, not the stage two mod. The stage two mod is the 18 pounds. The stage three mod that I'm getting for this one is 26 pounds. So way much. That's going to have you at 7,500 RPMs, according to the website at hotrodminibike.com. And I've already got the header pipe, but the carburetor is finally installed on the 212. Like I said, this engine's not going to be mounted on the bike until it's completely stage 3 out. Right now it's at stage one and a half because it has the header pipe and the carburetor. But even then, after watching um, a favorite fan of mine, Redbeard's Garage, he says these carburetors don't exactly come as you expect. The jets are questionable at best, but the whole carburetor itself is just fine. It's the jets you have to be concerned with, depending on what you're doing. So I'm paying very close attention to Redbeard's Garage, cars and cameras. Uh, you better believe I'm paying attention to every single one of them like a hawk. And I'm writing down my own personal manuals, which I have written right here. I got the... Oh, snap. Hang on a second. Let me get somewhere that's not windy. I got the torque specs for the 212, crankshaft specs, uh, the needs, ring compressor, uh, also got the crank cover, torque specs, all from watching Redbeard's Garage. I also got the head torque specs from Redbeard's Garage, the valve lash specs from Redbeard's Garage. I got all these things written down just because that's how serious I'm going to take. Um, my 212, it's the non Hemi 212, but you know, that's how big of a fan I am of what these engines are capable of. It's amazing. Like, you can take this six and a half horse, turn it into a 10 and a half horse just by getting rid of the governor alone 
But then, according to all this magical stuff I've got written down here, which I've written my own manual just by studying Redbeard's Garage alone, I've got my own manual written right here in one page. And... For the tap set size, for everything like the oil sensor, there's an oil sensor on this engine that it, it's just got to be getting rid of. There's a lot of work I have to do, but apparently the tap size to retap everything out, you're just going to basically use what you're unbolting from the engine to figure out your tap size. So it's self-taught. Everything I have learned, I have been self-taught just by watching on YouTube alone about this particular engine. But as far as the uh, stock three horse goes on the Coleman CT100U, yeah, you obviously can tell I got the performance muffler from none other, none other than hotrodminibike.com. Thank you, Hot Rod Mini Bike. You guys have been great suppliers. And the header pipe. And the muffler. And the badass air filter that it comes with, along with the aluminum plate that it fits around the carburetor. The only thing I have yet to get is this stupid little filter for the... Uh, valve cover uh, what do you call that air valve whatever you want to call it and yeah it's just a matter of time money and patience and soon enough we'll we'll get there everything will come together eventually it's just time and money and bills people I'm not rich nor have I ever been